From that standpoint, from the top surgery standpoint, um, I trained as a general surgeon at, at UNC in their general surgical program, finished in 2010, became board certified. I don't practice now. And in that process, did hundreds of mastectomies, was involved in hundreds of mastectomies, logged them. They were all for breast cancer or preventative measures for breast cancer if someone had high genetic chance of having breast cancer. Um, and so I think the important thing to note here is that what the takeaway here is that this is not some type of easily reversed surgery. This is a big deal. And a double mastectomy, meaning both sides, both breasts removed itself is a uh, significant surgery generally requires an overnight stay. You know, you're at risk for all the usual uh, surgical problems like infections, fluid retainment, abscess, uh, DVT, you know, blood clots, that type of thing. But the important takeaway is that this is a permanent change. You can't just reverse it. You can't just give back a kid their breast tissue once it's gone. Um, it's not like a tattoo where you can maybe have it laser removed in the future. The surgery is if you want to change your mind to um, have your genetic anatomy back, are very intense, can be very painful, are very difficult, require a lot of planning, um, can fail, uh, and is not your normal breast tissue. So the surgeries that they do to reconstruct breast tissue usually require flaps, like muscles from other parts of your body, or, um, you know, uh, uh, synthetics, like implants. And, um, you know, I saw a lot of those patients because we do mastectomies as a general surgery side and the plastic surgeons would come in and sometimes do immediate reconstructions and round on them following that. And they were in a tremendous amount of pain from those reconstructions. And then the second takeaway, not just that this is a permanent surgery that's gonna forever alter your body. Um, and these kids are making these decisions with the help of these lobbies, you know, before they're 18 or even, you know, older. Um, the other takeaway is the, emotional um, aspect where in caring for a lot of the patients who had to have mastectomies for breast cancer or other reasons, um, they went through, you know, it was emotionally difficult time. It was very hard to watch a lot of women go through uh, the process of dealing with portions of their anatomy um, no longer being a part of them. And I think sometimes what these young kids don't realize is it, they haven't grown to that point of maturity where at some point later on, they could very well realize, especially if they're gender fluid and changing genders, you know, what if they feel like they're gonna be female again and miss that uh, portion of, of their body and themselves. So these are two very important issues um, that when you see, when, when I see materials from these training sessions uh, or immediate affirming, uh, uh, slideshows in schools and stuff they never talk about that stuff they never talk about how it's a really how it's a very permanent change to your body how any change of mind in terms of um, desiring a reconstruction is a big big deal and then the emotional aspects of it why not why not include that if you're going to have an all-inclusive discussion of these issues kids